his legions of fans are enthralled by his many roles, including the award-winning Dave Das. But behind the trappings of his stardom, troubled by the loss of his parents at an early age and plagued by ill health, life is not perfect for India's megastar. Granted unprecedented access, we spend a week getting to know the real Shah Rukh Khan. I wouldn't know how the stars were 30, 40 years ago, but I, I know for a fact that uh, and they were a little more, uh, much more enigmatic than I am, I guess. As it is, I'm in a plastic world, and I'm, or, or as it is surrounded by uh, too much acting, uh, I, I do feel that I should not get trapped with all this. Um, I feel a little strange if I'm, uh, uh, you know, behaving like a star. I mean, it's, it's silly to wear dark glasses when all my life I've worked towards wanting to be recognized. Earlier I used to work about uh, 15 to 16 hours a day. You know, that time I would even end up doing two films on the same day. Technically Sundays are off for the last five years. I haven't taken it off. <laughs> I would love it if I could come at 2 o'clock and leave by about 8.30, you know, 2 to 10 shift. But I come, I come at 11. I mean, that's one part of my stardom. I come at 11. I'll be ready at 11. That's one thing I, I don't like. Uh, I, I don't like mornings. You know, come early morning. I'm not an early morning person. Because I sleep late. Biggie, biggie, beanie, beanie, hey, koi, koi, soy, He's actually a girly makeup artist. Everybody says uh, it suits me. I am what hippie now is called uh, metrosexual. So I, I'm uh, part of that uh, generation. So I don't mind me looking a little pretty. <laughs> we try to do a girl, which we've done in a film. I was hospitalized trying to get a cleavage. This is all me. I'm supposed to be like this guy. He's my father. There was a sequence in the film where I get drunk and imagine myself to be all the bad guys and the good guys confused. This is my version of Alfred e. Newman. This is, I was 18 years old in a film. This is how the British looked when they came to India. This is what I want to do properly one day. We did a test to be bald, half balding old man. Hopefully when we don't sell as a romantic hero, we'll try and do character roles. <laughs> I'm from Delhi. 
lost my parents. That's why I came to the city. Didn't know that I would be an actor or a film star. Hello, sir. Yes, sir. Oh, Farooq bhai. No place to live. Things are very expensive here, and houses are very small here. Uh, I didn't know what will happen once my films come out. Would I make it as an actor? Would I be able to live here? I needed to get married. I had a sister who I had to support, um, and nobody else in the world. <clears throat> and I got so angry with the city that I, uh, I remember crying and saying, uh, right opposite the Oberoi hotels, uh, that one day I want to own the city. I think it was a young, passionate. Foolish person uh, saying that uh, because ten years down the line uh, the city owns me. But otherwise, I think it's the greatest city in the world, and it's very, very important to my life and to me. And I'll always uh, be thankful that Mumbai has given me a family, um, and actually, Mumbai has given me a life. I, I really like it. So by the time I woke up and I left, I realized that if I came over, yeah, you know, and they obviously for Diwali everyone wants to go back. That's why income. And then yesterday was holiday. I'm I'm doing well, but you know my pain has moved to the trapezes now. Yeah, it's some strange thing. So I have a new thing for you. Like you said, I'll be there in five minutes. Bye, lots of love. God bless. Doctors complaining because I didn't go the day before yesterday. If anybody from our in, uh, film industry needs to know about neck problems, should go to Sharuk. I think so. I've treated him his first injury from when he had his uh, a fracture of his rib, wrong back, seven, eight years back. Then his knee, then his ankle. I think so. Almost his left side is injured, whole left side. He has an ankle problem, a fracture in the big toe, then again left knee, then again uh, the neck also. The radiating pain was the left side. That's it. The day he's not working, he cribs more about pain. But once he's at work, no, huh? he's a workaholic and he overworks. Don't stay in love. One inch tall. You know, the morning is very bad, but. When I wake up, till I take a hot water bath, it's quite awful. But then after the treatment by Dr. Ali, then I, then I, then I feel really good. And sometimes I feel better for like five, ten days, uh, you know, once he's done with. But then those five, ten days, maybe I'm not doing something as hectic as uh, the dance or, or an action sequence. Shahrukh Khan Sahib, shooting Okay. We have become so used to this little thing happening all the time, all the time. And it's like how you get a crick in your neck, and then a day or two after that, you're still wary of, uh, you know, is it there, is it not there? So it's only in your mind. So I've become so used to having this pain that I really don't know how it feels now not to have it. Uh, uh, though I look forward to it. Maybe, you know, and, and I, uh, a professor has told me one fine morning I'll get up and it won't be there. <laughs> you know, and I'm just waiting for that morning now. thing I don't move, leave home without. My nasal drops, which people think are Thank my you. drugs. People think I'm a drug addict because of this. A lot of people. I went to a discotheque in America. 
and uh, it was only no no drinks allowed, only uh, uh, drugs. And I had this in my pocket. And they were so thrilled. There was something new that I've got in there. They kept on asking this. I said, my nasal drops. Said, yeah, sure. Do I say those words? Baby, baby, let's rock. It might, it might, might sound nice. But sweetly. It's like Rocky. Yeah. But sweetly, the eyes will be sweet. Looking for love me. Please, please show them. This is a special dance move that this girl can do. She can shake one or she can shake both. This is a, a hidden talent. I think I've become a little more impatient. I've also become in a strange way more patient. It's a very strange, it's a dichotomy actually. If somebody gives me stress, I want to take it easy. And if somebody is uh, not taking stress, I get impatient. I should get this patience back because I think the greatest gift I had as an actor was patience. You could make me do a shot 125 million times, or as my son says, gazillion times. But uh, I, would, I would not get uh, disturbed. Sadi one, Sadi two, Pokemon. Pokemon. Pokemon, sorry. Pokemon. Why isn't Pokemon? Because it's Pokey's books or whatever. Because Ash has Pokey. Oh. And Brock. And Brock. That's why. Yeah. I didn't know the secret, yeah? And Pikachu also has Pokey. I was 26 when I got married. The year I joined films is the year I got married. Because everyone told me you can't be a married star. What are you doing? All the actors hide their wives, like Amir had done and everyone at that time. So I said, I'm sorry, I'll marry her. And uh, I'll, because if my acting is going to be dependent upon if I'm married or not, then woe be on my acting. I mean, I think it's really silly. It, it is nice to be married, you know, to come back out from 20,000 people who are screaming and shouting for you, and then you come back to your wife. I think it's a great level. Hi. Shahrukh waiting in queue, car in background. So it, it turns in, the back portion, and then it, as it hits it, it goes nearly off the road or into whatever the side thing. Yeah, we'll ask Alan, yeah. but I think uh, personally I, I would know, prefer a mobile. Bike. Do you know mobile can work both ways? Yeah. Again, it will tie and see down it and take it like yeah. that. And it adds more momentum because you can mm. have the pace. And it gets a little yeah, that's jerky yeah. and stuff. Most of the people who come to my house are from films. So invariably you've seen them on and off on television or film. So they think that everybody's parents work on television, I guess. For them, office is making films. But now, uh, like my daughter, till about a year back, thought I was Amir Khan. She used to call me Amir Khan. Uh, but my son knows that I act, and most of the things I do is make believe. Uh, because I wanted him to be introduced to that. Otherwise, he would start jumping off the building or you know, do some silly stunt like that. You know, I'm from a very middle class family. So I don't want them to start believing, specifically because I know, you know, he tries to jump like me. So that's one thing I've told him that I do it with wires and I'm actually quite scared and I'm a coward and, and uh, I've hurt my neck and it's really pain. It's the wrongest thing to do. I mean, actually, I, I wish I didn't have to do it. Instead, I, you know, I just would play soccer. And action! support me. Two. Suppose you are the man. You go there. Somebody just throws it. Looks. Huh? Huh? And you cut to Sharo Kalwa. Huh. Two shot. That means you never throw it and catch it in master. We can then, do that. Huh. Might be a faster cut because I think Farah's right, it's slowing down. Might be better. It's like zoom. Guy turns. Avaz I Ah, blood be the gun. Nothing, nothing. You just go two. Just the back moves. We cut to Sunil. Hello, Roy. Hello. So I can't see you also, it may be nice. Yeah, yeah you don't see because me. Because when, when we see you, no, is no. when you come in the dark and you turn around and 
flash of lightning and all the kids get up and all that. You asked me Balloon if Anil Schwarzenegger is more known or Aishwarya Rai, then I think Aishwarya Rai is hmm? more known. We are the only surviving film industry to Hollywood. Right. And that's why I don't like the term Bollywood. Uh, five percent. I would, I would love it to become uh, a huge thing and we become as big as Hollywood. Uh, but if you are the only survivor to uh, say Goliath, it's nicer mm -hmm. to be called David. Uh, you know, instead yeah. of called uh, Goliath. <laughs> <laughs> I know you're writing your own book, but what I want to look at is really, of course, there's your life, there's your films, but there's also you as a f the face for the aspirations of a billion people. Like when I told my wife, you know, Anuvay sweetly said she wants to write a book. It's it's an honor if somebody's writing a book and somebody like you writing a book. Um, five minutes. Tell them five minutes. Wait. So uh, I don't know. I I really feel like my wife reacted like that. She says, "What? Are you mad? Why would anyone read a book about you? Are you mad?" And Gauri always says that. Uh, if if you ask my kids also, Jirasharo, come and have your food. And are you mad? A book about you? Who would read a book about you? You do, you do interviews of all the actresses who worked with me. Thank you. Class Madhuri and Jui and Kajal and everyone. And they find it really funny. I mean, they, they, they get tears in their eyes trying to control their laughter. <laughs> this is the hero? And they used to think I'm a scrawny, brown, having a bad headache kind of guy. Nowadays they call me Lucky Ali. So you just got lucky. This evening, and my happiest wishes on this Diwali to the families of Mumbai Police. Lots and lots of love to you. Uh, Bombay is a city, Mumbai is a city where they just need an excuse for a party all night. Mumbai is like Hollywood. And, uh, so if you have access to stars, they'd be. Uh, so this police function is uh, one of the functions of the year that we all attend. Normally we perform also. I did not this year because uh, I had a back problem. Nervous energy is for speed and when you're doing an action, you should not be nervous. That energy you should keep for running. It's, it is very strangely spiritual, doing action is very spiritual. Sabala santu manorataha manakamana siddhrastu palena vulitam sarvam trilokyam sacharadaram tasmat palapradhanena sabala santu manorataha it is Diwali, which is the puja of Lakshmi, who is the goddess of wealth. And uh, as strange as it may sound, we all pray to her. And tell her, please come into our house, into our, specifically into our business places. Um, every year, it's a very big thing for businessmen. But I think being a producer is tough. We make in India three films a day. And I think nowhere else in the world would they be doing it. 700 films would release a year or 750 release a year. And they do release. Is the air conditioner on? I just put it on here. That's my mom. An old picture they had in the newspaper, and that's me. Mm. And that's my father's picture. Somebody gave it to me. Even I don't have this picture now. You want to? Then you can play with it. Right now, the biggest film in India is released with 500 prints. Biggest film all over the world, 500 to 600 prints. Uh, a Hollywood average film releases 1,500 prints. I think that's the kind of uh, average we need to do. So, you know, they make the business. Like, I, I find it so strange. I move into a cinema hall in London and America, and it's, it's got only 30 people sitting in the cinema theater. I'm shocked. If it happened to one of my films, I'd commit harakiri. I'd kill myself. I walked into a theater, there were 10 people on the first day. And if I got tickets on the first day. 
This is one of the films that we made. It's called the Soka. No? You look just like this, no? She looks just like me. What does Mama call her? Say, say, how, how Mama calls out to Papa. No, Patawa Kurta no. This is the clothes. See, nice clothes. They look like you now. See, who's this? Karina Kapoor. Yeah, looking pretty, nice. See, pink. Pink lotus flower. It's one of the most difficult things I've done in my life is to buy this house. I don't have a house anywhere in the world. I didn't have a house because my parents died. I have a house fetish. I want a house. I've always wanted a house. When I had kids, I got this house. It's my family's house. My, we, we took a decision. We'll always live in Bombay. So my great-grandchildren are going to live in this house, like some old Parsi family. My office, if there was a problem, they can take it away. My studio, they can take away. Everything they want, they can take away. But my house is for the security of my wife, my sister, and my two children. Um, there are some rules we have, unsaid rules really, that I will not make a phone call once I'm in the house. So you'll always find me making a phone call from the bathroom. I run there and close the door and then talk. Children should know about value of God, whether it's a Hindu God or a Muslim God. So next to Ganesha and Lakshmi, we have the Quran also there. And uh, we put our hands together and say the Gayatri Mantra, which my son says, and I say Bismillah with him. Okay. Thank you, Allah. I don't know, it, it makes me feel very emotional. Uh, where I'm teaching my children something that I also don't know very well. And I'm not a great follower of religion. I believe in Allah very strongly. Uh, but I've never been forced by my parents to uh, read the namaz five times a day. To me, it's very important to have a Diwali in the house and Eid in the house. Even we do even Christmas. We put up the tree. The kids enjoy that the most, really. Yeah, married people on the left, in the right, and on the left. They are the left. No, 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 no Mother was the opposite. She was outgoing, very, very uh, attractive personality. Uh, we, we were very good friends. We would watch movies together. I would press her feet at night. She used to get a lot of pains. So I would press her feet at night while watching. VCR was a new thing. Video was new. Uh, so we got a new VCR and color television. And we used to sit down and watch all the Hindi films that she liked. And she said I was like Dilip Kumar. <laughs> father died of, uh, I think, cancer. At that time they said throat, but then we found out it was in the fourth stage and stuff. Uh, and my mother died of uh, multiple reasons, started with diabetes, and then uh, what they finally medically declared as septicemia. But again, she was, you know, they were both absolutely all right. Uh, and one morning my dad came and says, you know, he, he, was, he was from uh, Peshawar, so he used to say, Yara. And he says, Yara, the doctor is saying I have cancer. And I mean, you know, it's, it's not that you've heard about the disease. You don't know what it is till it happens to someone close to you. I think even in our wildest dreams, we didn't think this cancer is uh, life-taking. 
You know, you never do. That's how we live on hope. And then uh, three months later, he was gone, suddenly. And he was only 52. So that wasn't a very old age to really die. Uh, my mother died at the same age. She was 52 uh, when she died. And she also was absolutely all right. And then one fine morning, she had a little uh, cyst in her foot. And it just led to one thing and three months in the hospital. And then it was very, very sad that they died because uh, I was not too old, 15 and then 24, 25. It's too close to that. My sister lives with me. She's elder to me. She's five years elder to me, and she's a very, very was a very brilliant student. She was an MALLB, very educated girl, and strangely a, a trained psychologist. Um, unfortunately, she's not very well. Um, she was, uh, and I think, got very disturbed with my parents' death. I'm, I'm very scared to lose people. I'm very scared to lose loved ones. I'm very scared when my son goes to school, I'm hyper. I mean, if I'm, I'm very protective. And people that I love, I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm hyper and scared to the extent of being uh, silly. It's a great honor. Grown up and you know he loves it. And the first time I was ever recognized outside my house because of my profession was on this road. I was uh, driving with a friend of mine on a mobile after having done my television series. And there was a lady in a three-wheeler. I saw the three-wheeler cross us. And she jumped out and waved out to me. Shut up, Fauji. The series I don't call Fauji, which was based on the army. So I was just thinking it's been, uh, that must have been in 86, I think. So that's nearly 20 years ago. I haven't been here for <laughs> many, many years. It's an old Irish brotherhood, St. Columba. Yes, eh? This is the junior school and the middle school. The senior school is this, and then the middle school is there. But if any of my brothers see me, they'll come and cane me like they always did. But you don't have these kind of schools in Bombay. How are you? Good to see you. How have you been? <laughs> Wonderful to see you. Hey, hey. How much change has been? How much change has been? How much change has been? Hey, Good to see you. How are you? Good. Wonderful. Yes, sir. Who's color? Yes, sir. How are you? How are you? <laughs> but very few, very few uh, rich kids, very few rich kids. Some it was meant for Catholics and Christians. And then uh, lots of us were taken in on merit with a lot of... It, it's a very, very prestigious school. I mean, I, I would not because it's my school, but I think it's the best school in India. Yeah. It really is. A little strict and very disciplined, but just for all boys' day school, you don't get this kind of discipline. And the brothers are very, uh, yeah. very disciplined. Right. You know, hair had to be short. Your... That is why you're scared to meet them. <laughs> I'm scared to meet them even now. I mean, I'm, I, I should go, I'm sure they'll be happy, but I'm scared to meet them because you came here without asking <laughs> once again. <laughs> this, this is my first class, actually. This is the junior cage it used to be. Now mu still a music class. This is a music class. Yes. <laughs> yeah, still a music class, my daughter. Hi. <laughs> Hi. 
you know, we used to pray in that church, then we used to go to the, those are the three different buildings, middle school, junior school and senior school. Yes. You take care and all the best Hello, for your wife. Hello, Jula here, inside. Uh, <laughs> are, are you here regularly? Yeah. Then I'll come, I'll come in a week's time. I think I'll come back with my son and yeah. Yeah, please, I'll, please, please, I'll please. bring him over. Yeah, I'm here only, you just give me a call. Yes, you God bless. I'm Anthony, you know. I'm Anthony, you know. <laughs> Bye, take care. Good to see you. Bye, first. Bye. 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 Yeah, it's beautiful. Yeah. I'm so glad I came because when I prayed here, because we used to pray here before we went and it's quite overwhelming. Then we can. Discover it. I, I, I felt very happy. It would be nice to be here. Because all the other times I'm just bloody acting. I'm just acting. I'm acting some part or the other. I'm acting a part of a chief guest. I'm acting the part of an entertainer. I'm acting the part of a monkey. I'm, I'm just acting all the time. Here there is no act. You know, just to... It made me feel uh, uh, small and young and vulnerable. Even though I may sound pompous, but I rule the world where I am situated in my line of work. I've done the best that possibly could be done, I guess. I've won a lot of money, I've won a lot of awards, a lot of fame. And life is wonderful. But uh, I just missed being a, um, you know, special in this way, like I was here. There was nothing, nothing exterior attached to me being a star. Like a lot of people meet me as a star, but when I come to Delhi, I'm meeting guys who have known me. It's like the only other person is my wife, who's known me before I became a star, and these are the people who know me before I became a star. So I miss that part of it, the way they react to me. तुमको पूजा है तुम्हारी इबादत की है हमने जब की है तो फिर ऐसे मोहब्बत की है हमने जब की है तो फिर ऐसे My parents are buried here in uh, Delhi. I've been lately feeling, you know, since my daughter was born, I think I haven't been to the graveside. But I just thought I'll drop in there and uh, pray a little. And I, I do feel the pain in my back will go. Because I've never prayed for myself. I always uh, believe in prayers. Others should do for you or you should pray for them. Uh, but whenever I've prayed for myself here, it's been fulfilled. So it's a belief. Uh, so I just want to go and pray and finally tell my mom now that listen get rid of my back pain and uh, and just sort of pay abeyance to my parents it's been a long time i hope i can find the graves hello thank you so much for being, being very very kind thank you
I think my mother just had to work a lot for us to make sure that she, we get by. You wanted to impress her. I mean, as a matter of fact, when I, uh, even now I feel like impressing her. You know, I'm, I want to get bigger. I want to even be bigger than 70 mm cinema scope because she's way far away. So wherever she is, like the Great Wall of China, she can see uh, that film of mine. And I really believe that. One fine day, maybe in heaven, they'll be talking. You know, you heard about this actor who's doing very well down in India. Uh, and she'd say, oh, that's my son, Shahrukh. And your dress is very nice. Come on, let's talk. Where were we? No, thank you. Hame kuch nahi <laughs> Just kidding. Come on in. Come on in. Thank you. Mm hmm. Bad me? Acha hua tum aagi. Maine abhi abhi chai banayi hai. Oh God, look at your hair. One second. Mujhe sukane do idharo. Arey ek minute ruk jao. We can't have you catching a chill. <laughs> yeah, much better. Sit down. Sit, sit. Hame kuch nahi kharidna. <laughs> Just kidding. Come on in. You know, I see actors just stand and talk in the mirror. There's so much vanity. And acting is not about taking, it's about giving. You know, so like a Mahmood Saab, he would fall on a banana peel, like Charlie Chaplin, made fool of himself. And so many actors. Uh, but the whole point is that they were giving in the acting. I've never seen any of them waiting for applause. Hmm. Okay? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, much better. Sit down. Sit, sit. <clears throat> I started work September 94 with Shah Rukh. We started Duplicate in March 95. Mm -hmm. so it's, been, it's been 10 years, yeah. Mm -hmm. I know when to leave him alone. Like today I don't have to leave him alone, he's okay. <laughs> I would have sensed it otherwise and, and gone away. I, I get very scared when he's angry. I, I have a big fear that he'll scream at me one day. It's my biggest fear that will happen one day. And, and I, I, I think if he screams at me, I would start crying. Mm -hmm. And I just don't want that to happen on set. You know, not that he was. I, he has full uh, full right to scream at me. I just don't want to start crying <laughs> in the middle of uh, the, the whole unit. Lord, so I just know when he's in a bad mood. I know when something's upsetting him. I know when he's pensive. He's either pensive or then he's upset. He's very, or he's very happy. You know, but uh, pensive is like leave him alone. Upset is leave him alone. Happy is go and chat with him. And you can get that vibe from him. And the people who know him well, I learned that from his wife about how to judge his mood. She knows him very well in terms of she all, she's kind of trained me to realize when I should keep my distance at all times. You know, because he's somebody who needs a lot of space. <laughs> There's no two ways about it. Every <laughs> client that walks in, every uh, aspiring actor, young boy, any age group, they all want to look like him. Like all of them, all of them want his hair cut. <laughs> He's my claim to fame. Just want you to know that. And that's also because no other heroes have hair. Na? All the others are losing hair. My only hero is Yeah, okay. It's okay. I, I have uh, cracked this. I can comb my hair to look the same like they no, look for the last 37 years. I've cracked this. I don't... Yeah. I used to get very high. It doesn't high matter. It doesn't matter. And Dilshad is a spiritual person, so... <laughs> she's very giving. She's okay. Yeah, no. Right. She, she, her main aim in life is to make me look like a geek. Would you believe it's, that? It's a desire. Okay. finish the edit simultaneously um, so you know I can sort of oversee the dubbing and um, the boy and girl can spend a lot of time dubbing yeah. because they have first few films so they'll have major issues so by December if we can pull off even I'd like to dub actually 
I like to finish off the film. So if we can finish off the film dubbing by December, then we have no issues as far as uh, dates are concerned and stuff, and we can do a post properly. Because then you will only have three months after that. No? There is no magic to acting, uh, apart from just being able to observe and absorb uh, very, very deeply. Take it seriously as far as the part, professional part is concerned. But beyond that, don't. The, the actual difficult shots, we have started now uh, storyboarding them like this. But the rest of it is still on paper. But uh, these ones, actually, we try to send it abroad because we don't have the team here. So we send it abroad so they get a clearer picture to exactly what we want. And that's me. <laughs> so we'll take that shot? You can even do uh, without makeup if you have not yet. Farah, if you have not noticed, I'm <laughs> You look so young and fresh. Yeah. And I can't make out if you put makeup on. I'm all made up. At the age of 25, you look like this. It's amazing. Yeah, for yeah, I'm only three years younger than you. <laughs> Please? Please. For <laughs> well, years, uh, you know, when we were discussing things, and so if I would had to convince her of something, I would say, Farah, I'm older than you, so trust me. So she'd say, okay. And that's the only time I'd say, okay. Okay, okay, Shara. You know, she, otherwise, she's very, uh, always fighting and stuff. I said, Farah, I'm older than you, so listen to me, please. I have more experience about this. Just before we started the film, I saw her passport. <laughs> I'm older than She's older than me. And all, all my life, for 12 years, she's cheated. But she's, I'm hardly just like... Yeah, just like five few years. Few months older than me. Two months. <laughs> he's, bribing, uh, he's bribing Farah, the director. Can they hear me? He's doing that. She's increased the role already. <laughs> I have a bad feeling that just going to keep the voice over. <laughs> I'm shy of women. It seems strange for me to say for someone who's only doing romantic films, but I'm very, very shy of women. And uh, I remember meeting Gauri. I was 18 and she was 14. And uh, what I liked about her was that she... Uh, it wasn't as difficult as I thought talking to a girl. I had never asked a girl for a dance and then talked with her. You know, these were parties where the guy sat on one side and the women sat on one side, and then you go and ask, may I have this dance with you, ma'am? kind of parties. I don't know how the... Now, recently, when I attend parties, they're really very different from the ones uh, we used to have. Um, so, I, I, I don't know, I just met her. She's the first girl I've spoken to, and perhaps the first girl I've interacted with, and uh, it's the first girl that I married. And it's been now... Uh, I was just calculating nearly 20 years since I've known her. Hello! You know, I, I think there can be an identity loss if you're a film star's wife. And at the level that I've reached, more so, you know, Shah Rukh Khan's wife, that's all her identity is. Because she says that she knew me before I became a star. So that's one aspect of me nobody knows. And she's known that. And that's something she's not ready to share with anyone. Roy, do you want to go to the set? You want to go to the set? Are you doing something? <laughs> And it's never been that films come over my family. It's never been, even when we didn't have children. It always was that, okay, what we have to do, we'll do. And I had so much energy that I could come home at 9 o'clock and still go out for dinners and be absolutely all right, get up at 7 again and go for shooting. So uh, that's something I think she has learned to appreciate. And yes, there is a whole angle of uh, a star's life is very public. Uh, so she's very clear on that. Hi, how are you? What time is it? Hi, ten. Happy birthday to you! Happy birthday to you! Happy birthday to you! Happy birthday to you!
دیسی ان اردو کسی کو مکمل جہاں نہیں ملتا کسی کو زمین کسی کو آسمان نہیں ملتا and uh, uh, people do turn around sometimes including my wife and say you're always working and I think the the only cure I've had for sadness is to keep on working and that's why I keep working uh, and and I know that for a fact to me making a film is just much more than uh, getting another award or getting some much more money or being in the limelight to me making films is the only way i know how to get over sadness i feel no i don't make too much of it uh, you do get very sad when you lose your parents and parents but i was very 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 attached to my parents and i do miss them a lot i do miss them a lot especially now that i'm successful because i would like them to see parts of it um, And I think the only way I can stop myself from going into depression, like my sister has, is to get up in the morning, wear makeup, and uh, be someone else. تم سے مل کے دل کا ہے جو حال کیا کہے ہو گیا ہے کیسا یہ کمال کیا کہے تم سے مل کے دل کا ہے جو حال کیا کہے ہو گیا ہے کیسا یہ کمال کیا کہے Dum-da-da-dum-da-da-dum-da-da-dum-da-da-dum-da-da-dum-da-da-dum-da-da-dum-da-da-dum-da-da-dum-da-da-dum-da-da-dum-da-da-dum-da-da-dum-da-da-d